your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Telephone 256-778-6242. Our website is dictoteachers.co.ug. Here you find the notes, exams, and marking guides for physics, chemistry, biology from S1 to S6. Or you can visit our YouTube channel, Digital Teachers Uganda. Here you find videos in the physics, chemistry, biology, and the math. Our email is digitalteachers at gmail.com. The best secondary school is the Science Foundation College plus 256-753-80-2709. The best primary school is Lock of Ages Primary School. Two five six seven seven two eight four nine one zero six. Today, sixth November two thousand twenty, we are going to study expression and osmoregulation lesson two of two marine invertebrates. They can be classified in two three categories depending on their ability to osmo regulate, as shown in the figure below. A. Those that lack any form of osmo regulation mechanism, such as spider club, these have their internal osmotic pressure, OPI, equal to external osmotic pressure. OPE. Since their body fluids are isotonic to water, they are able to survive without osmoregulatory mechanism as long as they live in the open sea. B. Some such as shore club, carinas, are capable of some form of osmoregulation which enables them to move from sea to estuarine. This can live in sea water and estuarine only. See, some such as methane club are capable of osmoregulation, which enables them to live in both sea water and fresh water. So, ability to osmoregulate will increase the habitats of an organism. Organism that can os osmoregulate can live in both sea water and fresh water. Animal that cannot osmoregulate at all live only in the sea. Two fresh water animals. These have their OPI greater than OPE. They have a problem of osmotic influx of water leading to dilution of their blood. Freshwater organisms have solved this problem in two ways. One, some organisms eliminate water as fast as it enters. In amoeba, for example, water collects in a contractile virtue that migrate to the surface and release it. Vertebrates have numerous big Bowman capsules and short loops of Henry to eliminate excess water. Two, some organisms actively take up salts to counteract the dilution effect of inflowing water. Some fish, for example, have chloride secretory cells in the gills 
that act will absorb sodium and quad ions from water. This coupled with high glomerular filtration rate are able to maintain internal osmotic pressure fairly constant. Marine vertebrates, their OPI is lower than OPE and are faced with a problem of osmotic loss of water. This has been counteracted in the following ways. Low glomerular filtration rate leading to low water loss in urine. Salts are actively extruded by chlorine secretory cells in the gills. Nitrogenous wastes being excreted in insoluble forms such as urea and trimethyl nitrogen oxide to reduce water loss in urine. Marine cartilaginous fish retain urea in their blood to increase osmotic potentials of their body fluids slightly above that of seawater to reduce osmotic water loss. Some organisms have membranes impermeable to water. I have put a star here because this is a common objective question. Adaptations of desert flow. The barrow and bury themselves underground in the dry mouths. They have short life cycle in the case of rain. Some don't need water to hatch their eggs. Some are nocturnal to avoid high temperatures. Adaptations of terrestrial animals to dry environment have waterproof coats. For example, insects have low glomerular filtration rate, produce non-toxic wastes such as urea and uric acid, have long groups of henry for maximum reabsorption of water from the filtrate, avoid hot dry areas, say going into sheds or being nocturnal. Use metabolic water, for example, camo, having tissues that are tolerant to dehydration, for example, camo. Water ration in the plants. Plants are classified into three groups according to availability of water in their environment. One, hydrophytes are plants that live partially or completely submerged in the fresh water. Adaptation is of hydrophytes to get rid of excess water. Have poorly developed roots to reduce absorption. Numerous tomata to get rid of excess water. Fin epidermis, broad leaves, and poorly developed xylem. Two, mesophytes grow in normal well watered soil. They don't need special adaptation. Three, xerophytes grow in dry places such as desert. Adaptation is of xerophytes. Short life cycle in the case of occasional rain. They can complete their life cycle in a week or two. Long deep roots traps of water from deep soil. Numerous fibrous roots to maximize absorption of water in case it rains. Stomata on the lower epidermis to reduce water loss. Sunken stomata and the hair epidermis to create a region of high humidity allowing stomata to reduce water loss. Follow the leaves in a hot climate. Thick cuticle to reduce water loss. Reversed stomata resume. 
closing the stomata during day and open the stomata during night reduces water loss. Excretion in plants. Plants don't possess special excretory organs like animals because most of their wastes are gaseous. For example, oxygen in photosynthesis and carbon dioxide in respiration, which are lost by diffusion through the stomata. Nitrogenic wastes are usable in plants. Very excess water is lost through the stomata. Four, plant wastes are stored in the virtual and xylem. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Please find related videos on YouTube channel, Digital Teachers. Uganda. When you go to YouTube, where there is search, type in Digital Teachers Uganda and enter. It will be given categories of videos. Website digitalteachers.co.ug email digitalteachersuganda at gmail.com I'm begging you to subscribe to promote my videos. Subscription is free. The best secondary school is the Science Foundation College. Plus 256-753-80-2709. Best primary school is low of ages. Primary school plus 256 Seven seventy two eighty four ninety one zero six.